right there's with the flat platen on it. The five speed drill press. Got the arbor chucked for wheel alignment and locked down with the adjustment bolt. Universal springs for the tension. Left and right adjustment. That's an overview. That's two pieces of three inch flat bar welded together, notched out. That's the 10 inch two by two, notched out, so you can get your fingers on both sides of it. The main body is all 2x2 120 wall. The base center is 2x4. All the feet are 1.5x1.5 120 wall. All the inserts are 1.5 120 wall set screws. And they're 14 inches. So, like I said, it's set up for 2x60. But I have all of this that I can extend out for a 72 and so on. Uh, this is inch and a half, 120. This is a piece of the scrap 2x2 two two, cut open, drilled through with washers in between. I actually made it so you can turn it vertical. I'll show you that here in a minute. So that's what this piece is right here. Um, this bar right here, I did a little long, didn't really have to, but that's 2x2. Two the main frame is 2x2. Two two. I've also got build videos on my Instagram. Um, then I've got a stud that goes through here to lock it. You see the hole here to lock it vertical or horizontal. I use the base, which this shaft, it's, it's this drill press right there. So this is a section of the shaft here, the stand, welded to the side, squared up for tracking on the wheels. I crowned my tension wheel and my drive wheel. Seems to make it a lot better. My tool rest adapter is two by two, two inches, welded together and that fits in between here so that goes on here and then your tool rest can go in here here or you can do it like this and then you can have the tool rest here and here for set heights out here so that would sit if you picture it like you can set it there or you can set it there or you can even bring it up here if you wanted to for like the 72 you'll have more adjustment um, high speed downhill wheels. The set of four were on eBay for like nine bucks. Speed bearings were 20, 19. Um, all the hardware I had, it's the universal hinge, like a gate hinge from Home Depot. Uh, what else? Oh, my eight inch adapter. Let's see if it'll sit. It's not going to sit. Okay. So that's just a 16 inch piece of inch and a half by inch and a half, 120 wall, drilled through, spaced out with just washers, sealed bearings from the same store that I got this wheel. The wheel was crowned. I just ran across my other grinder until it was pretty much flat. And then, uh, put a belt on it when it was attached and just ran a file behind it until it was smooth and that's also how I crowned these two wheels was just ran it with the belt and just took my file and went over it well under it because the belts right there and then this way on this one and then to switch it to horizontal sorry I got to put the phone down Hold on. 
just pull the pin, grab the press, turn it up, slide the pin back in. And now it's a horizontal grinder. Still got to work a accessory table because my accessories, if I ran it up here, it'd go on the top. So I need to do another adapter to go down underneath so the table will come up and sit underneath here or in front of my, my uh, eight inch wheel. Uh, I think that's it. So let me know if there's anything else.